So from the previous video, we've got an incredibly important result that if y is equal to x to the n, then dy by dx is equal to n x to the n minus 1. Okay, that's a really, really important result. But before we can go on and then say, okay, well, I can now differentiate uh, functions of the form y equals x cubed, or x to the 4, or x to the 5, okay, that's all perfectly fine. What if I wanted to differentiate y equals x to the 5 plus x cubed? Okay, now it doesn't naturally then say that, well, dy by dx must be the derivative of this plus the derivative of this. That would be your kind of gut feeling that, okay, that makes sense, okay? I differentiate this one, I get differentiate that one, and that's my result. But it shouldn't automatically follow that that must work, okay? We need a little bit more understanding of why that works. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to prove this, that if you differentiate a sum of functions, so one function plus another, it's the same as differentiating them independently and adding them together. Okay? That's what we need to prove in order to allow this to work. So the proof of this uses, you guessed it, differentiation from first principles. Okay? So if I rewrite that, okay, so let's say y equals f of x plus g of x, okay? Then dy by dx is equal to the limit as h tends to 0. So this is my function now. So I need f, effectively f of x plus h. So that's f of x plus h plus g of x plus h, okay? That is my overall function. Take away f of x, which is this guy here. So we're going to take away f of x plus g of x. All over h. Okay? Now, in order to do that, what I can do is I can reorder what's in the numerator. So I could rewrite this as the limit, as h tends to 0, of f of x plus h, take away f of x plus g of x plus h, take away g of x, multiplying that bracket out. Okay? So then, I can break this fraction apart. So I've got the limit as h tends to 0 of f of x plus h, take away f of x, all over h, plus g of x plus h, Take away g of x, all over h. Now, if I'm finding the limit of these two, it's like finding the limit of one plus finding the limit of the other. So this uh, ability to break a limit apart is kind of like, see, it will feel like, oh, wait a minute, I kind of need to prove that that works as well. So you can kind of see how mathematics works, right? The moment I kind of bring in something here, oh wait, I'm going to have to prove that as well, okay? Now I'm not actually going to go and prove that I can break this limit apart, but I'm going to make the jump. So we've got the limit of f of x plus h take away f of x over h, and I'm going to have plus the limit as h tends to 0, of g of x plus h, take away g of x, all over h. So this is the derivative of f of x, and this is the derivative of g of x. So I started with trying to differentiate all of that, and I've shown that it's the same as differentiating that plus differentiating that. So it shows that this 
must work. Okay? And so we're going to go through and see some examples of that in the next video.